Good morning guys, if you're wondering why I'm wearing headphones, today I am going to record two sentences for a viewer that asked me to do a short voiceover for a commercial for his school play type thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I, I don't do voiceovers on demand, I usually do uh, like my own videos with the very dark voice and I try to make it sound decent. I mean I can do the movie voice a little bit, but it's, I mean I don't have an American accent, that classic deep voice. Um, so I try, uh, but yeah, basically <laughs> I have to say two sentences, so I gave him at least seven or six takes, uh, depending on what he needs, since I have no clue in what kind of context it actually is. It's just some basic, um, like, in-between commercial and the episode of something that's happening. Let's see if I can put the camera somewhere that isn't too much of a hassle. Let's see. guys it is a bit chilly and apparently we're getting more snow yay maybe i should embrace it yeah more snow doesn't work does it any my radio is working again in the car so i'm happy because i can listen to new music well it's kind of sponsored by radio but yay fake happiness this morning <laughs> if you're opening google you get uh, this and you guys from Britain and the UK, Britain and the UK, that's not what I wanted to say, from the US and the UK, you know those. I think here they're called uh, Sweethearts and in Britain Love Hearts, but there's another name, I know that. But I can't remember, I heard it in the UK, leave it in the comments below if you know what I mean. And for me, they are, it, they look like ecstasy or something to me because we don't have those. And I look at them and they have stuff printed on them. I'm like, those are pills. Sorry, <laughs> it's weird to me. By the way, I'm recording on my Zoom since that's the only proper microphone I have here. Normally I would use my uh, condenser mic or my um, shotgun mic that Sarah has, but I have neither right now. So I have to improvise a little bit. And not to say that the Zoom is bad, it, it's not ideal for doing um, voiceover stuff. So yeah. Okay, let's try it. The thing is I have to control my breathing a lot more, so it's it's so much more difficult because I'm out of breath very fast when I do my voiceover things. So I take like 20,000 20, takes. <clears throat> okay, it's by the way, it's in Dutch. They say like, after the star, blah, 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 continue this. So basically the, the sentence is like, after the star, we continue with Theater Cafe 2014. So yeah, let's do this. I have no clue what I'm doing, by the way. <laughs> New Theater Café 2014. New Theater Café 2014. New Theater Café 2014. Um, let's try the second one. Now the stair, how much better, my Theater Café 2014. Now the stair, how much better, my Theater Café 2014. So guys, um, I like to do voiceovers. I'm just not good enough to do proper ones. That's a thing. <laughs> Weather report from Ohio. Let's call it Snow Ohio because that happened while we were in there. And I'm going home now. Enough weekend. <laughs> Ooh, can't see anything. The only thing I'm always worried about when I switch on the car and the ignition. Ignition. <laughs> Bad German, English, whatever you're talking, Sarah. This sucks. So. Anyhow, whenever I leave the car in there with the engine running, there we go. I mastered it without saying the word. <laughs> uh, I'm worried that when I close the doors that my car, for whatever reason, will just close down everything and I'm outside and I don't have a key to get in. Yep, that's it. And I don't have an opener right now because of the whole, uh, what's it called? Damn it, Sicherung. Leave it in the comments. If you understood that word, that was the German word of the day. Sicherung. Um, is out. Damn, what's the word? I'm talking English the whole day and some words are just like biff, gone. And I can't turn you off, so you have to help me clean here. Oh, this sucks. See, there's even ice underneath. Ugh. Hate it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Music! For all those who are missing snow, this is for you, and you can keep it. I don't want it back. 
So let's send it to him. I'm very curious what he thinks. Bro, I hope that he, uh, he likes it. What's not to like? It's just two sentences. Anyways, I uh, have made some progress on my MacBook. I cleaned it entirely. The inside is pretty much entirely empty now. And I found something that might be working soon. Um, I'm waiting until I can take out the LCD panel. Eep, eep, eep. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that one. But um, yeah, because I want to travel with it to the US, I don't think it's smart for me to take out the LCD screen yet. Since uh, otherwise, uh, I don't know how to reattach the uh, glass for it. And I hope that I can maintain glass just for sentimental reasons. Maybe I can do something cool with that. I'm thinking about putting uh, like an LCD uh, fake in there or, and then use LED lights in like a square or something. Or I don't know how to exactly work it. I'll see once I'm doing it and then wire it up to get wires to go through this little part here to go into the main part make four slots into the panel in the back or bottom technically and then um, mount strips of uh, LED light that face upward or backwards depending on what direction you're looking at so it will light up the back pretty much and then put little like spacers in between on each leg or something like that so I can mount it to the wall and it will basically spread behind um, the MacBook and it will look kind of cool because uh, if it works with a dimmer or something like that, I can have oh, one of the holes here, probably this one, as a um, power plug, basically. I was thinking about using the actual power plug, but I don't know how to do proper electronics, so I might blow up something instead, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'm very curious uh, how it'll look. I'm, I uh, I'm trying to clean out it later today, like some of the goop, protective coats and stuff like that. But I'm very curious. It, it looks very cool. It's, it's, by the way, it's super light compared to my old one. <laughs> it's really funny. I'm going to edit a little bit. Hopefully I can finish it before, uh, like in an hour or something. And then I will leave, go to the gym. Or no, correction, take a shower and then go to the gym. I know it sounds very confusing, but I feel dirty and I don't want to feel dirty at the gym. That's the whole purpose of going to the gym, to make yourself dirty, not to go there dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you in a second because your battery is dying. The last bit of Valentine's Day. Actually, I didn't see the whole section behind me. <laughs> see, I never remember that Kroger actually has Wi-Fi, but I just remember that they have a special today. It's like a free Friday item and it's, uh, it's Valentine's Day. It is that grapefruit fruit cup thing. I'll check it out. If it's good, I'll take it. It's for free. Yeah, we just have bed. to yeah, uh, load it to my card. There we go. Plus, I was pretty lucky today. Uh, the manager special, which is basically for items that are running out of date, but I'm eating this stuff almost instantly. So this is pretty awesome. And, you know, I'm always looking for the right oil. And this is one I actually really like. And normally I think it costs like eight. Does it say it? No, 7.39 here, but I have two for three dollars now, and that's a good bargain. So I feel lucky today. Okay. So I th saved like 13 dollars right now, and that is, uh, I would say, like 20 percent. That's not bad. Plus, I get fuel points, which additionally saves me gas money. I like. It. Hey, this is your face. Your face. Oh, well, my face is over there. <laughs> we just went through a couple of my old Twitter photos. I have to be honest, I changed a lot over the last three to four years. I mean by a lot, not only uh, did I allow myself to have this happening, but I didn't think about any photo that I posted. I probably still don't do it now to the full degree. It's just... I was dumb. Really, really stupid. So, what's your face? Oh my god, did you just send it? Yeah, see? Like that, those kinds of things. Like, she was giggling the entire time over my misery. She's just pure evil on a stick. She found my, my twit pic that I used back in those days because Instagram took over everything. And I was kind of thinking like, did I Instagram that? And then I remembered, I haven't even been using that that long. 
Let's see how. I had a lot of weird. I seriously, I had a lot of weird and questionable <laughs> photos. Like here, see that? Like that is a thing. I think you're trying to change your image because I believe that she's trying to become a red panda, but you can't because you're an Ewok. It's not working, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do not look one bit like him. Of course I do. Show it to the vlog. I don't see a resemblance. Do they actually like the filter? He's hiding behind it. You want me to switch it on? Where's the other one? Hey! But I think they're happy. At least they're not fighting all the time. They're puffing up against me, but that's kind of normal. When I was skinnier, like the last two years, no, one and a half years, <laughs> I really like to put on clothes, try new clothes on. They all of a sudden fit, and right now they don't fit. And it's like, I want to do my hair and makeup and whatever, but it's like, <laughs> If you understand me because as soon as you feel better with yourself with your body you're like yeah everything is awesome and I try to get to that point it should already help if I'm just being like that that already should help me lose weight look better be healthier eat healthier and the main thing that's happening right now is the food because I'm going to the gym I'm actually trying to get 10,000 steps a day and so on and so on during the day I eat fairly healthy so that is not the problem the problem is when I come home and it's not like I have that it's not like that I have a lot of bad stuff here it's just like the amount and so on because I'm like oh okay I should eat something because I'm home I can cook so I cook something but it's not satisfying so I just keep eating Ugh. I think I would be a good contestant for any like eat a million hot dogs at once or how many cakes can you eat because my stomach is just like Ugh, I'm not I'm not satisfied keep eating so we have big plans for the weekend and nothing is coming in between this fingers crossed because if I'm saying this something's always happening and it's like hey things are good Oof, something's happening so we're not saying this but we're making plans. So number one, we're pushing out wedding videos. Yay! Number two, we try to start the Ecrit video. Video. Yeah, that too. Costume. And number three, we go to the gym, we clean up the house, we are happy. And maybe I can manage to go to the gym before I go to work. By the way, I totally forgot that it was Valentine's Day today. Luckily, YouTube has a thing that they upload a massive amount of Valentine's videos, tweets and stuff. Um, why did I forget, by the way? I'm a man and I am terribly bad with any significant date that I need to remember. From birthdays to uh, uh, other types of dates that have some importance. Anyways, it doesn't matter if you celebrate Single Awareness Day or the Valentine's uh, side since it's still spending money in some sort of way. I know that there are people out there that do the day before and the day after Valentine's since I don't really know. I haven't actually really done anything for Valentine's. Nothing big at least, if I remember. So what do you guys do normally? Or what did you do in this case? I'm very interested in that since I come from a culture where Valentine's Day is sort of a tradition that we took over from this case mostly America of course. And we don't really do it in the same way. We don't do the the big boxes of chocolate. Although some stores do sell those things. But it's not the big thing that you find, for instance, in a Walmart. Or um, any other <laughs> big store that has those massive displays. Like two weeks uh, after Christmas already. Let me know if you panicked today to find a date to do something with. Or if you're significant other just wanted to sit around the house and do the same thing you guys normally do or did she go out? I'm curious. I'm very very interested in that. Let me know. Oh. $30,000 for a dress. She's just a spoiled brat, seriously. <laughs> She's like, I deserve everything. What did she do? Seriously, her dad has the money. She got five pair of, pairs of shoes for almost $9,000. Just because she couldn't decide. 
I don't get it, seriously. I mean, even if those are actors and they are just playing this, those people exist. They are out there. I mean, if you and I had money, we would spend it too. That's true, but this is just ridiculous, seriously. And the husband? No chance. I mean, the guy is a banker there, and dad always paid for her everything she wanted. She had like Prada and whatever <laughs> in her closet. How can the husband stand up to that? That's not gonna work. And she wants live penguins on her wedding. 